Hi, I'm Liesl. Welcome to the Homeschool Den Minute. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the math activities we did when the kids were younger. First, I'm going to talk about some place value activities. These are some of the materials we use to build numbers. We use these regularly until the kids really understood large numbers. I'm going to show you how we built numbers, then counted the numbers out with our purple bead cards, and how we use the stamp cards. Here's how we would build numbers. I would call my daughter over and I would dump out all the numbers and we would organize them into columns. So we'd have the thousands on the far left followed by the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Then I'd say, let's build a number together. Let's say it was 4,853. So I'd ask her, can you find the 4,000? And I'd let her find that. And then I'd say, okay, now 800. She'd find that. The 50. And the 3. Then I'd say, now let's build the number. 4,000, now stack the 800 on top, 853. Let's say it together, 4,853. Our next activity would be to use the purple beads. We call them purple beads, so I guess you could call them purple dots, but we use Montessori beads sometimes in our homeschool, so that's what we just came to call it. So you can see there are the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. I put to get together packets of ten one hundreds and put it together with a brad there. Just um, And usually when we were using them, we spread them out so the kids could see just how many one thousand beads would be, or one thousand dots would be. So we would fan them out, and these correspond to the Montessori 1,000, the golden, 1,000 golden bead cube, which looks like this. It's a pretty impressive number of beads. So then the kids would start counting out the bead packets. So we would start with the thousands, and they would lay out 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, then of course the hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Then the tens, we count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then finally we'd use the single beads and count out three. One, two, three. And then we would talk, out, talk about just how many beads there were in 4,853. Now let me show you the stamp cards. So you can see we have ones, tens, one hundreds, and one thousands. So we would use these very similarly to the purple beads, but generally we use the purple beads one day and we would use the stamp cards another day. So we would do pretty much the same thing. We take the thousand cards and count out 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Then we use the hundreds, count out 800, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. We'd use the tens, count out by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and we would count out the ones. One, two, three, and there you have it. As you can see, the stamp cards are in green, blue, and red, and that's because they correspond to the Montessori style of math. And then I made some Montessori style math worksheets that my daughter used as she learned double digit and triple digit addition. So at first she did um, addition without any carrying or without regrouping, and then um, later she progressed to regrouping. And you can see that on this sheet, the ones are in green, the tens are in blue, 
and the hundreds are in red. At one point, we picked up these place value dice. You can see I have it set out in 4,853. The thing about these, though, is they didn't correspond to our Montessori numbers, number scheme, but the kids never really seemed to notice, so you can think about picking up a set of those as well. Let me tell you about a game that we played a lot while, when the kids were learning double digit numbers. This is a game called Sunny Side Up. It was a dice game that I think my in-laws had got me, but we adapted it to use in our homeschool. I made a whole bunch of these cards, and you'll find a printable over on, on our blog, homeschoolden.com. But um, these are the dice, and you can see on that side, I wound up making my own over the years, and on this side was the official version. Um, all of their, They have the numbers one through five, and then one of them has a sun on it. So to play the game, you roll the die. Ooh, I got it. Let me roll that again. So you roll the die. Let me pretend that this one's a sun so I can tell you how that works. So we can make the numbers 34 because of the three and a four. And we can use this for the number two. And this one is a wild card. So you can use it any way you want to. In this case, since I have a five, I'm going to make it to be a 55, and then I can cross off the 55 with these, the 34 with these, and then the two over here. The other person would have their own card, and they would roll the die and try to mark off, mark off their numbers. The first person to, to mark off all the numbers on the card would win the game. Then over on this side, I made my own because over the years, we wound up using different numbers. So you can see this particular dice has a nine, a six, an eight, and a very horrible looking sun there. Maybe it was uh, done by one of the kids. So there you have it. That's Sunny Side Up. These were some of the place value activities I used with my kids. You can find links to the printables you saw today, the beads, numbers, stamp cards, Montessori style edition pages, and the sunny side up game cards over at homeschoolden.com forward slash place value. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.